So famous Hollywood actor Chris Pratt is apparently being canceled by Twitter. Once again, this is, it seems like it's like a daily event, right? Where Twitter finds just something to be mad about. And what it really boils down to at the end of the day is there's a lot of people on Twitter who simply have nothing better to do with their lives than to just sit around and quote unquote cancel people on the internet and to dig up people's past and to try and use that against them. These people, you know, they get off of work if they even have a job. You know, they hate their lives, they're miserable, they see no way to really find any happiness or success for themselves. And so they live vicariously through this profile online in which they use to just completely attempt to ruin the careers of other people because, well, why? You know, no reason, of course, not to an average person, not to somebody who, like, sees this from the outside. But if you're part of this community, man, like, you think that you're really doing something, you think that what you're doing is righteous, you know, for some reason, like, they use this to build up their own self-worth, you know, they don't have any other accomplishments going on. Nobody's really found these people special since, like, sixth grade or anything like that, so this is just how they get their anger out. But, you know, when you're as accomplished, I guess, as an actor like Chris Pratt being in movies that are so acclaimed, like Marvel movies, you know what I'm saying? Those are some of the highest grossing, highest rated movies that are genuinely enjoyed by so many people, you know what I'm saying? People who don't even like superheroes will watch Marvel movies and actually enjoy them. I know that because I've seen it happen firsthand, okay? So, to kind of basically break everything down, what really happened here is, over on Twitter, there's kind of like this, I guess it's a trend maybe, it's like a meme or something, where people will put up like four pictures of something that's kind of related and they'll say like one has to go so like pretty common ones that I've seen is it'll be like one has to go and it'll have like you know different types of food so maybe you'll see like soul food Italian food Chinese food and like Mexican food or something like that right and you know uh, basically the whole thing is to like pick one that you would toss out before all the others. That would be a pretty hard pick, honestly, but you know, it, it, that's kind of the whole point, right? Like it's supposed to, you know, just kind of be, it's usually pretty casual, but someone named Amy Berg put one up and it had four famous people named Chris on it. So involved were Chris Pine, Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth, and then of course Chris Pratt. Now, this tweet was found by that toxic side of Twitter that makes the application have such a bad fucking reputation. And uh, they basically used this as an opportunity to completely deride Chris Pratt and, and make it out as uh, he's just horrible, right? Just a terrible human being. He does all this horrible stuff. They accused him of being like homophobic and all kinds of different crazy things. Uh, they apparently hate him because Apparently he's a Trump supporter, but uh, uh, what's crazy about all these things that they're like bringing up against him is none of it's really true. And if it is true, number one, it doesn't actually matter whatsoever, or number two, they had really no way of actually knowing. So the pretty big one that I've seen is the fact that he's apparently a Trump supporter, okay? Now, you know, th there's been like this online, I guess, wave recently where it's like if you support Donald Trump that like you're supposedly a terrible human being. Now look, I I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I agree with everything that Donald Trump does, okay? I don't agree with anything that pretty much any politician does. Like, you know, a lot of politicians are just really corrupt, just terrible human beings. Do some politicians do some good things and have, you know, some sort of serviceable career accomplishment? Yeah, probably. Does it make you a terrible human being because you have different opinions than other people? No, not really. I don't know why it is this way, but political opinions have now become to like, they've gotten to the point where if you have them, somebody is going to view you as a horrible human being. I mean, if you support Donald Trump, you're considered racist and a hateful human being and you support all this terrible stuff. And if you support Joe Biden, you know, you support some crazy old man who's really weird around kids and women. And I mean, it's just gotten to the point of absolute lunacy. You know what I'm saying? People are allowed to have their own opinions. You don't have to respect it, of course, but it's gotten to this point that even if you're like perceived to be, I guess, in favor of one candidate or the other, that you're automatically a horrible human being and you're the worst Hollywood Chris. And the craziest thing about all this, right, is that Chris Pratt has not even officially endorsed a candidate. So they don't even actually really know if he supports Donald Trump. And I mean, in all reality, when you think about it, the odds are kind of against the fact that he does because, I mean, you look at Hollywood 
it's pretty liberal. You know what I'm saying? The chances of you being conservative in Hollywood definitely are not as high, I think, as a lot of people would think initially. Sure, he goes to church or whatever, but even then, man, there's a lot of people who go to church who are also very liberal. Being religious is not just a dead set conservative trait, even though conservatives are traditionally a little bit more religious. But the dude hasn't even actually formally supported a candidate. I mean, like I said, it would have been different, you know, if, if he came out like Kanye in the Make America Great Again hat with a Trump 2020 shirt with a big flag of Donald Trump on it or something like that. That would have been pretty different. You know what I'm saying? If he went to the White House and took some pictures with the president, was like, yo, hashtag Trump 2020, I love Trump. That would have been a lot different than him just, you know, not formally endorsing anyone and just seeming like maybe he supports that person, right? So this big hatred point against him here is just not even really based in reality. And even if it was, who really gives a fuck? Like you're putting so much importance on another person's opinion of a presidential candidate that like you legitimately view them as a lesser human being. That is not mentally healthy. That is not normal, dude. Like, why don't you come back to reality, right? Like, dude, I look down my street, right? I, I go outside, I look down my street. There's hella Biden signs. There's some Trump signs. I even saw a third party candidate sign the other day and I was completely floored by seeing that. Do I now think that those are horrible human beings? Of course not, okay? Their, their views and their situations are completely different than mine and I respect that. And then he was also accused of being homophobic slash anti-LGBTQ plus because he supports a church that was accused of being such, but it turns out that he's actually addressed this point before, and it turns out that that church is actually pretty welcoming towards everyone, you know? I know, like, religion, especially Christianity here in the United States, because it is the most prevalent religion, they're kind of viewed as, like, everyone there just, like, hating gay people and, like, hating LGBTQ plus people. And certainly there is some homophobia with a lot of religious people because they view it as immoral and they view the Bible as being anti-LGBTQ. But there's also a lot of religious people who are open to that idea, and they're actually open to those people, you know what I'm saying? Not every religious person doesn't like gay people, you know what I'm saying? Once again, right, like, I'm pretty irreligious, you know, I don't go to church, I don't really pray or anything like that, you know? I'm not, like, atheist or anything, I'm just more agnostic, I guess, I just really don't meddle around in the entire thing, I don't really view any significance in it in my personal life, but I respect the ability for other people to do that and have those opinions. And I know a lot of very religious people who are completely open to the idea of gay people getting married and adopting children. Believe it or not, just because somebody believes in like one principle doesn't mean that they believe in literally every little root ideal that it may have or that you perceive it to have. So a lot of Hollywood celebrities actually spoke out in support of Chris Pratt, which actually I think says a lot because once again, Hollywood's pretty liberal. And you'd think, right, if Chris Pratt was like this, you know, MAGA hat, Trump waving, just woo, conservative, you know, loves his trucks and mudding, doesn't really like gay people, you would think that maybe Hollywood, which is, you know, once again, very left-leaning, probably would not have jumped out in support of him like they did, but well, that's exactly what happened. Like, it's so ridiculous, right, that social media it was created, of course, you know, to like connect with people from high school and to connect people together more, to share your opinions with a wider audience. Like there was a lot of good reasons for social media to be created and then you just see the festering shitstorm that it's turned into because people with self-confidence issues basically take out their self-hatred on other people by making up ridiculous assumptions about them and trying to derail their career and, and sway public opinion on them because they don't like them. It's kind of sad, man. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to optimus Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, not canceling Chris Pratt because, well, genuinely no reason to do so. And signing out.